Tim Elgindi here at the NPC News Online with the overall champion today of the Gold Close Classic in Redondo Beach, California. 260 pounds of pure beef. Larry Williams came all the way from New York and showed the people in California how it's done. Larry, for how long have you been preparing for this show? 10 weeks and I've been a little overwhelmed with how difficult the diet will be and the posing. The posing is the hardest part. So I, after this show, I definitely give all Bibles around the world a lot more credit because the posing I never thought would be this difficult and would make me break out in a sweat this much. I'm a powerlifter, come from a powerlifting background where I'm doing 800 pound squats, 600 pound benches, and just hitting a most muscular is more difficult. <laughs> Larry, you hit it right on the spot. Posing and presentation is a fundamental part of the scoring, and you did really well today, and it takes a lot of energy. But one thing I want to know is, like, you all the way from New York, where do you work out? Do you have a training partner? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I'm from New York City. I work out at Mount Vernon Barbell and occasionally at Beth Francis in Long Island. My workout partner uh, for the last four years is Black Tom Cruise on Instagram, also known as Otis Perkins, and he's been really supportive of me from powerlifting now to bodybuilding. And if you don't know who he is, give him, you know, give him a follow, see who he is. He's probably the best hype man in the game right now. And um, yeah. Larry, uh, other thing I would like to know is what's next for you? You're 23 years old, look amazing, obviously have a lot of muscle. Uh, what's next for you? What's the plans for Larry at the next show here at the NPC and maybe at the IFB Pro League soon? Uh, this year, I want to try my hand at nationals and see if I can get my pro card. I mean, the clock's ticking. I'm motivated. I feel like I'm willing to do the work that's necessary. And now it's just time to put it to the test. No doubt about it. Do you have any personal uh, improvements that you think you need to make to finally get a, a, that pro card that you want on the nationals? What do you think you need to improve? Oh, absolutely. Definitely need to bring up my upper chest, triceps, calves, hamstrings, presentation, and smile. <laughs> Smile is always important. Larry Williams is a lot of personality. But the one thing we all want to know is what is this 260 pound, 23 years old, is going to eat tonight on his cheating day here in California? Watch out. What are you going to be eating tonight, Larry? First on the list is going to be Cheesecake Factory. There's never a bad dish. And then I'm going to stop at In-N-Out Burger. And then every hour is going to change. The list is going to go on, on and on and on. So I'm sick to my stomach. And I wake up tomorrow morning like, OK, now it's time to get back on track. <laughs> If you're in a restaurant in California tonight and you see Larry Williams walking in, please walk out. He will win the whole restaurant. This is Tamer Ogindi with Larry Williams today at 260 pounds, tomorrow at 320 pounds. See you next show, Tamer Ogindi at the Las Vegas Legends with 20 stunning IVB Pro League champions there. All right, guys, just stepped off stage in my first national show. Second bodybuilding show ever. Just started bodybuilding seriously this year. And for one thing I want to say is that I, for one, feel like I didn't even fit in. Like I have a lot of work to do before I can actually be competitive at a national level. And it was, my first show was very small. I was the only super heavyweight in the show. So with this show, there were 17 super heavies. And NPC Nationals is uh, one of the biggest uh, bodybuilding shows in the world, so I wanted to see how I compare, you know, being my being my first year of bodybuilding. I would definitely say I made an improvement from my first show, and that's what I came here to do. I didn't come here to win. I didn't come here. I came here hopefully to break top ten. That was like a little bonus, but most important, I just came here to make improvement. Um, I remember my coach told me at the end, earlier in the year, "Hey, Larry, like if you want your pro card from where you're at now, you're looking at three to four years, and this is my first one." and if you want to want to cross reference powerlifting and bodybuilding, I didn't feel I didn't start breaking records or becoming competitive until my third fourth year in powerlifting. So nothing comes easy at the highest competitive level. And uh, if any of the guys who competed with me today are watching this, you guys look amazing. Uh, I get yeah, a scratch in my head like how did I make it up stage with you guys? Because I look at myself like I look good, but not quite there yet. So he definitely lights a fire into my ass for me to. To come back on my next show with more size, more peel. Adam Silver, my videographer, is recommending I go to Kuwait and just have a transformation. I think that's what's necessary if I really seriously want to get my pro card. So the weekend isn't over yet. Still got the evening show. Stay tuned for more.
Larry Wheels here. Just won overall at my first bodybuilding show. What's next for me in 2018 will be nationals. I like to feel like I'm running in place. And I always like to feel like I'm working towards a goal. Right now, that goal will be getting my pro card. There's no rush, but the clock is ticking. I have lots to work with, to improve on, like my upper chest, my triceps, calves, smile, my presentation. Posing is definitely harder than any squat, bench, or deadlift I've ever done. I had a 10-week prep leading into this show, and I want to shout out Ed Koo and Sen Efforting for helping me out. Um, during this prep, the two things that helped me the most would be BCA XL by MHP. Now, what it does is it flavors your water. So when you have a sweet craving, you know, you can get your sweet fix by just adding some BCA into your water. Uh, going through prep, uh, you never feel full. You're always craving like a cookie or brownie or something like that. Um, or even, a, for me, it's sweet tea or soda. So it really helped to have something that just flavors my water and um, just to curb those cravings. The second thing would definitely be Reckless Pre Workout by MHP. When you're feeling drained and groggy from low carb days, it's perfect for just giving you that boost you need to get out of the door and get to the gym, do what you gotta do. Now, that's really all I have to say for today. Um, I'm gonna have more to say in another video coming up soon. So please like, subscribe, drop a comment on what you think I need to work on to win a national level show. I know half of you are gonna say calves, but still drop a comment anyway, and don't forget to attack. 5.7. What do you think, Larry? 236. <clears throat> 236. Right. I'm calling 236.3. Right. See it right now. 234. You're oh, all wrong. Wrong. Hey, wrong. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your biceps touch your armpit, okay? Uh, okay, the whole time? The whole time. Because if you do, you're going to have white marks under your armpit, so now one's that. Okay. Side chest. Turn to your left a little bit. Wrong way. Yeah, there you go. Face forward, have it tight. Very classic. There you go. I'm gonna do the long video of that. But when I crunch down, the out pops so much more. Good. When I go right there. Good. Let's go over here so they can glaze other guys. Glaze up. Adam, you're up. <laughs> Can do right before stage is get nervous. You're right. Cortisol levels drop, dump, and then you. Last, the only thing you want to do right now. All the work's done. We're just gonna now. It's just easy, breezy. Get on stage, get your trophy. Oh yeah, now I'm up in third one today. <laughs> there you go. Here's one of your best men's physique. Actually, your very first pro classic. Winner. Right here. Show winner. How are you doing, brother? What's up, brother? Doing well. Adam, what's up? What's up, Stan? How are you, yeah. buddy? <laughs> Good front double. Huge. Huge. Side chest. Pops. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Backed up. He opens up wide. Nice. Looks fucking great. Yeah. Try to get that pro card on the amateur. Yeah. How do you think I'll I'll fair with the amateur? I mean you don't even look amateur. Mm. I mean, it's kinda like he stands out. <laughs> and when you hit the shot, you like really really jump. Yeah, well I'm like, relaxed. That, that's I, dense muscle. That's dense muscle right there. Uh, you look great. Thank you, brother. You, you yeah. won the very first class of pro show, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah, look pretty impressive too. Fuck that's, We just wrapped up Ultimate War here in Anaheim. I took my overall win. I'm beyond ecstatic because I had to drop about 40 pounds in about five weeks. Cut from 270, waiting at 230.5. I haven't been that light since I was 16 years old. So this was uncharted territory. Hats off to my coach, Brian Benson. 20 plus years experience in the game. Absolute mastermind. It's a testament to your knowledge in the sport and my discipline. And guys, I've done arm wrestling, strongman, powerlifting. Bodybuilding, in my opinion, is the most difficult sport. You spend so much of your life, several times a day, eating and enjoying food. You have to make that sacrifice to become a pro bodybuilder, let alone climb to the top. So my hat's off to bodybuilders across the world. I respect everyone. I can relate now 100%. When I had a drop sodium this week, I legit thought I was going to have to the hospital. Couldn't walk, didn't have any energy to move. I felt I was I had the flu or something. It was unbelievable. So now that I know what it takes to get to true stage ready conditioning, I just have even more respect for the sport. We just have two days to make weight again. Two days. But, and if anybody sees these stage photos, that is 4% body fat. That is hard to maintain. And anybody who doesn't think that, wait to see the stage photos. This is 4% body fat, and, and the energy levels at 4% are not gonna be the greatest. Right. We got a couple more days to suffer, right? So. Work's not done. Uh, it is Saturday. We are gonna fly out tomorrow. We gotta battle a little bit of uh, water retention from the flight. We gotta make weight at four o'clock on Monday. So, but then, Unlike this show, we didn't really get to carve up. I'm still 232 So at this moment. So no real carve up for this show because we knew we had to make weight afterwards before the Olympia Amateur. So this time we make weight on Monday at four and we don't compete until Wednesday. So we got a full 48 hours to fully fill you up and, uh, and just make sure we peak perfectly for that show. So you'll see just this condition with a little more fullness on the Olympia Amateur stage. And I think it's going to be a hard package to beat. Absolutely. Coming for that pro car. I mean, I got the best friend in my court to get the job done. I'm dialed in up here. So I'm going to give it my best shot. I think classic for Dinky, definitely the division for me and my frame. Yeah. So we're going to see how far we can take it. I can't wait to get on that flight, weigh in, start to eat. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Love you. And thank you for watching.
Six one or one eight. <laughs> Perfect. Two thirty one. Two thirty one point four. Perfect. Two thirty one point four. Sweet. So we made weight at two thirty one point four. First time was easy. Second time was hell. But that's what you get for doing two, two shows back to back within three days. I had to make weight twice. Weighed in yesterday, two forty two. Had to drop ten pounds. But because of the rebound from the muffins and all the other carbs that I got to have for the previous show, my body didn't want to let go of that water. So anyways, we were stressing at the very end because we got we're on a time crunch. But we made weight, and now it's time to finally start to carb up. We got some chicken and rice in that bag. Some Shout electrolytes. Out. Rehydrate. Rehydrate, let's go. Mm -hmm. Get that dog. Larry, I gotta tell you, man, from your bodybuilding show, to now, you're a completely different guy. Well, that's thanks to the mastermind of a coach. Looking really good. Yeah, yeah. Remember when you competed at Huntington Beach? Mm -hmm. Completely different physique. It, it even made his physique more aesthetically pleasing. The waist is in and everything. We'll see what happens, but you're looking good. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Give him my best shot. Yeah. Good job. My best package so far. No matter what happens. Raise your arms a little bit for me. Thank you. Thank you. Then uh, we are here in the Olympia uh, with Larry Wills. Um, I am very surprised because his vacuum is super deep, it's super crazy. Then, Larry, how you make it? So, every day for about two weeks. In the mirror in the bathroom, hunch over the sink, it's easier when you're pulling in this way versus straight up. For about two hours, hold as long as you can, take a five minute rest, pull in again as long as you can, five minute rest, and do that for about two hours. And then once you get it to where you feel like you can't get any deeper, and you see that it looks like your torso is floating above your body, then you never lose it. You just do it once, twice a day, and it becomes a skill that just never goes away. Once I got it that deep, it always gets that deep now. But I also keep it up every day. Not for two hours, just for like, okay, I hit a vacuum today just yeah. for as long as I can, and then that's it. Now it doesn't have to be for two hours, it just be for five minutes. It's crazy because I think that I had the vacuum ready, but when I watch Larry do it, fuck up, my, my vacuum is nothing. Then I wanted that you watch the difference we made made at the same time. I believe we did, it's very deep, you know? Then we, we made it in three, two, one. Oh, okay, okay. sure. Uh, it's very different. <laughs> then follow the tip of the big Larry wheels to get a better vacuum and kill it. <laughs> Most definitely. Practice every day, guys. That's yeah. all. Thank you, man. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Larry Wheels, the 29-year-old American bodybuilder and world record-holding powerlifter, has been making waves in the strength and physique world. Last weekend, Wheels stepped on stage for his first-ever bodybuilding competition, the NPC Classic Physique Show. Weighing in at a shredded 270 pounds, Wheels impressed the judges and crowd, outmuscling the competition to take home the overall first-place title. This was an incredible achievement for his first time competing in bodybuilding. The very next weekend, Wheels jumped right back on stage, this time at the prestigious Olympia Amateur Competition in Orlando. Facing off against higher-level competition, Wheels brought an even better package, coming in fuller and more conditioned. On the Olympia stage, he wound up placing second, edged out by overall winner Jack. Considering Wheel's background as a 300 pounds powerlifter and strongman competitor, his physique transition has been remarkable. Through diligent work and refinement, he's crafted a physique that looks surprisingly at home in classic physique. His vacuum poses are on point, his V taper is enviable, and his level of conditioning is spectacular. 
Wheels has shown that hard work and dedication pay off. In just a short time span, he went from newbie bodybuilder to earning overall wins and high placings on major stages. If he continues to improve his physique and refine his competition acumen, Wheels will no doubt be a major threat on the NPC and IFBB stages for years to come. His powerlifting strength is an asset, but his commitment to bodybuilding is what will take him to the next level. That's all for today's video. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of Larry Wheels' competition and the place he earned through sheer hard work. Until next time, stay strong and stay dedicated. See you in the next video.